Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to use the Rhino 3D software to show you how to create this link structure as a ring and also talk about the prong set for the stone setting on the top. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm going to hide the stone first to show you the structure before we're starting from the scratch. And as you can see, I have a ring connected into one piece and then one of the ring on the side is higher than the other. So you will have this uh, more dimension look over there. So that's starting from the scratch. That's starting with the front view and we want to start a circle. Uh, I would like to set it this one for diameter 16 millimeter and you will uh, use whatever ring size that you wanted to build this ring. Then we start into building the shape on the top. It's coming into the top view and I'm going to use the arc tool and going to snapping anywhere for whatever size that you think is going to work for you and that's coming over moving them here. Now we need to have those like uh, figure looking or twisting looking things um, usually what you can do is you can kind of join the shape directly if you like to or another way that you can do is you can draw a little tab something look like this and then um, we are going to use the curve tool and we're gonna coming over snapping into here or the easiest way uh, you can do is using the blend tool for um, blend curve and you're gonna blend from here to here and that will give you a really nice blend in between like two sides and then you can decide how well you wanted this curve to be so I usually like to use the blend to get the really smooth curve once you got that one we can just mirror to the other side so that way we will get it symmetrical don't forget to join them so let's go ahead to use the join command and take a look on our all four view oftentimes you will get the curve look like this uh, and it is not flat it's because our all snap is on and we're working on one view so that may not be completely flat to fix this issue we are going to use the command project to c plane all right, so make sure that you are on the top view and it will ask you if you want to delete the input. So let's click yes. And so this one will be completely flat now. Now the second thing that we wanted to do is to make this curve. Let's take a look on the perspective. It's follow this curve over there. So we are going to use the command. It's under the curve tool. You have this one called curve from two view, which means you got this is your first first view this is your second view then you'll get something like that now we have this curve there we just need to make it one is higher one is lower but we don't need all the way to the bottom so I'm going to use this original curve and to trim all the way on the bottom so and to hide the one in the middle so now we have this one but because it is coming from curve from two view you got so many points here it's really hard to edit them and make them smooth if you want to move them up it look like a kink over there so let's go back and we want to rebuild this guy. Let's go ahead to rebuild to make it something more manageable. Currently we have 52 point and I want to make it into 14 point and click OK and see if it is too much of a difference. Now it looks OK to me and we also need to double check. Uh, check if it is still following our uh, ring size. It looked pretty close. So what I like to do is make one side higher than the other side. So I'm going to moving those point up a little bit and maybe moving this middle point up even more. And let's take a look if this one is working. Let's go ahead to making it into solid by creating some profile. So let me use the rectangle calling corner and I'm gonna coming up for something about this size. You can make it thicker or thinner, it's up to you. And coming down like this so this will be one of the profile that I have here and I can manage them to get them a little bit closer to the middle and if you like that let's go ahead to 
mirror to the other side so we will get two profile there now this is going to be the gap between two ring if you want them to go closer um, you can just moving this one down and mirror again all right so let's take a look if this one will work for us i would like to use the surface tool you got sweep one rail and you got this rail this is the cross section one cross section two make sure they are aligned and facing the same direction right there I will also suggest to record a history in case we want to change anything. So let's go ahead to hit enter and we'll get something like this. Let's click OK first. And in this case, if you are just using the mirror, for example, you're using the mirror command and snipping into the zero on the top view and you'll get something like that, which the highest spot is all on the same side. So we cannot use mirror in this case. In this case, we have to use rotate. So I'm going to use the rotate command, make sure copy equal yes, and I want to record a history and that's snapping into the zero. And we want to rotate 180 degree like this and hit enter. So you can see like, now they are looking more correctly, one size higher, the other size lower, and vice versa on the other side, right? Now, if you don't like um, this way, or you might want to make this piece bigger, what we can do is we can do like 3D scale, for example, like this one, we want to um, scale it up a little bit bigger, and we can, using a 3D scale, snapping right here, and I wanted to do more like uh, 1.8 to make it bigger. So these things will change is because we record a history on both command. So I'm going to do it one more time from here endpoint to here. From here endpoint to this point and 1.8 millimeter. Okay. And also if you like to move them, I say maybe the gap in between is too much. I want to move in. 0.3 millimeter and this one too i want to move in uh, 0.3 millimeter by minus 0.3 with the gumball so things will change all right so if everything look all right to you i'm just going to stop here but you can go keep tweaking into the way that you like okay so now i'm going to uh making the copy of this curve and since this is a symmetrical one so i'm going to just mirror to the other side now we have all this curve right here. I'm going to mark them into the red colors. It's easier for you to see. I would like to have this one coming into this end, right? So we are going to use a sweep one rail and this is the rail. This is the cross section one. This is the cross section two. And we're going to make sure they are aligned and there will be something like this. Then we're gonna turn around if we wanted to do the same thing that we are just going to do from here to here as a cross section and you will get the ring like this. Okay, let me hiding this um, section there. You could do something like, and you can use a sweep one rail, then you use the curve for, from this side to this side. Okay, so not so sure if they are aligned. What you can do is move them into inside of the ring shank and go like this. Notice that they are facing different directions. So I'm going to flip it one of the uh, arrow like this and let's click OK and then you will get something like this. So you can have this one coming into this end and we can do one more time going with a rail and cross section from here to here. And again, I want to make sure they are aligned. So I'm going to move them inside, moving them inside and um, hit enter and they will get something like this. So you can have this kind of a style if that works for you better. So now what we have left is the stone setting. I have been talking about prong set in many other videos. So I'm not going to repeat there. You can download this uh, stone file by joining the mailing list uh, from my newsletter and you will get the link to download this stone. So we're not going to repeat 
that、uh, specific for the process, but I would like to talk about the arrangement for the one on the side. Now we are going to look at something like this. I'm going to making a copy and make it a little bit smaller to fitting into the side over there. You can take a look first and see if that is too big or too small. And by moving it down, tilt it a little bit and see if that will fit better. And sometimes you want it to be overlapping.、Uh, just need to make sure that、uh, the casting will be one piece instead of like floating inside of that triangle area. So I'm going to go back and look at this. This is a little bit too big for me, so I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. Okay, first of all, we need to make a cup underneath it. So let's go ahead to use the、um, tube tool, and I'm going to snapping. Make sure vertex is on, snapping right in the middle right there. And I wanted to create something coming in like this. It doesn't matter like、uh, how tall you want. You can make it longer if you want to because we're gonna trim it off anyway. Okay, so that will be the metal underneath the、um, stone, and then we are going to move one out here and making a copy and move it up roughly. Like this, okay, and simply just have this one mirror to the other side by using the mirror command and bring it back right there. So now we have the arrangement.、And、the second things that we need to take a look is where we're gonna have the prong in order to secure this type of arrangement. So I'm going to draw a straight line first. Coming up here、It、doesn't matter how long because we're gonna trim it off. And with this one, I'm going to simply just pipe it. So let's pipe it into a decent size.、Uh, you don't want it to be too small. You don't want to be too fat either because if you have it too fat,、uh, it may not look good. Um, you will look more into the prong instead of a stone. So we want to make sure the prong is not cutting more than twenty five percent. So I'm going to also making a copy right here in the middle. Okay. Now we will also need another one moving up right there. As you can see, the way I arrange the prong, I don't want to want. I want to make sure that the prong is not. Been cutting more than twenty five percent. Okay, so now I have that one. I'm going to move another one, just moving up like this, making a copy, and we also need another one coming over, holding two stone right there. Okay, so now I have those two. I can simply be symmetrical by mirror to the other side. So we'll get something like that. If you take a look on the side view, they look something like that. Now this prong may be like way too tall. We just need them to be a little bit taller than the table of the stone, and that will work. So if that were for you, let's go ahead to group it. I also like to do. Is to making a copy instead of using this directly because we might need to come back and fix it, and it is easier when it is flat, right? So let's go ahead to hiding this one, and we are going to deal this one from the front view. I'm going to move it down here and tilt it the stone, move it, set it down, move it back here, take a look on the perspective view, and see if that is working. Now I feel like this is too much.、Uh, you moving in. Way too much, so we want to moving out. I want to see the metal right here. Sometimes you can set another、uh, row of the B setting if you want to make it really blink. Also, notice that the stone setting right here it's a little bit stiff, right? We want to hopping on the ring really nice. So I'm going to ungroup this one and pick up those and kind of rotate it a little bit and bring it. Down. As long as you have the prong is touching, and apparently after we moving this angle, it's not too close. So I'm going to move it down like this, rotate it a little bit, move it down like this. Okay. So if everything look alright to you, make sure the prong is touching the side, so you will have a good casting. If that is confirmed, then we are going to、uh, trim all of them. Let's go ahead to Boolean Union. This one first, and we are going to use a ring size, and let's go ahead to make it into the solid by going straight、uh, extrusion, and both sides equal yes. So this is extruded command, and then we want to trim it anything that we don't need it. And since this is a solid, we're going to use the boolean difference. This one and this one. 
will be difference out by this one. Okay, so now it's nice and flush to the bottom. Let's go ahead to mirror that piece to the other side. So we'll get something like this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about the stone setting, I have a specific course for you. Check out the link in the description below. It is a must tool for your jewelry care design. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next. Thank you.